so guys in this video we will see css property border spacing so the border spacing css property sets the distance between the borders of adjacent cells in a table so in simple words the border spacing property controls how far apart cells are in table element okay so you may use table tag or you can use when you can create table using display table properties okay so when you use table you can use this border spacing css property to apply some distance or padding you can say between adjacent cells okay so you can uh, also uh, not one thing like this will work only for border collapse separate so there is one property border collapse when you use border property in table okay so we will see with example okay so let me make some changes okay so now let's say we have one table here okay uh, let me write again yeah. we have one table with uh, some uh, border or we will add border in css okay so we have table row and table data let me copy this let's say we have two three four five okay and let me copy this row two three four and five okay now let me add some content two three four five six Eight, nine, and 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Okay. So uh, we have three rows 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. 21, 22, 23. And 25. Okay, so let's see how it looks. So this is simple table. Okay, so with table, when you add, okay, so first of all, let me add some class or uh, ID, whatever suits you. So here you can add uh, some table. Okay, so make sure you use some specific name. Okay. So here you can give margin one rem auto so you can make it centered align okay so let me do it okay so now it is centered align all right let's add some css to td okay let's add padding one rem space 1.2 rem 1.2 okay this is padding you can give border radius 6 pixel so it will be curved okay and border 1 pixel solid green okay. let's see how it looks now okay so this is default css for table okay so right now we can add border columns let's uh, keep it columns first of all okay so this is border columns the default property is columns so there is nothing okay so now with table what you can do you can apply your css like border spacing let's say 1 em okay and see there is no effect because when you use border collapse as collapse this border spacing will not be effective okay let me change it to separate and see let it get reload so you can see the space here 
right? One em space it is applying now with this border spacing. Let me change it to 1.5 so you can see the difference, right? Now let me inspect and see. So in table you can see border collapse is separate and border spacing is 1.5 em. Two, it will be a more spacing and it will be more. Okay, so now we have one em border spacing for this table. Okay, but you need to make sure that you are using border collapses separate. If you make it collapse, this border spacing will not be effective. Okay, so you need to make sure whenever you want to add some spacing into, uh, you can say, the cells, you can use this border spacing with border collapse separate. So this is very useful property when you use table. All right. That is all for this video guys. And about browser support, it supports all the browsers like Chrome, Safari, Firefox, i, Opera, and mobile, Android, and iOS as well. So you can use it whenever you use the table tag. Okay. So guys, if you are new to my channel, please go through my channel once. You can see there are many videos created there are videos for javascript css properties are there and if you want to see the playlist you can go to playlist and you can see the css3 properties here you can see number of videos for properties like border radius border inline border image and so and so so i think when you will able to see this video you will have many more videos in this playlist and you can also check other playlist like uh, you can see there are a few videos on WordPress as well as there are a few videos on JavaScript as well. Okay, so I hope you like it and you will learn something from my videos. Okay, guys, if you like my video, please give me a like and if you have any question or any suggestions, you can leave your suggestions below. Thanks. See you next time around.